Miami Gardens, FLA let the Heisman hype commence. The 2017 college football season hasn't even crowned a national champion yet, but based on the way Wisconsin running back Jonathan Taylor bulldozed his way through opponents all season, it's clear he'll be firmly on the short list of early Heisman Trophy candidates in 2018. For further evidence of his breathtaking combination of power, shiftiness, and vision, take what happened Saturday night during Wisconsin's 34-24 victory against Miami in the Orange Bowl at Hard Rock Stadium. Taylor carried 26 times for 130 yards to surpass Adrian Peterson's single-season FBS freshman rushing record. Nobody else on the Badgers team rushed for more than 10 yards. Taylor needed 79 yards entering the night to break Peterson's record, and he actually surpassed the mark twice. He rushed for 6 yards on a second and 5 play in the middle of the second quarter but then lost 2 yards to trail Peterson. Taylor regained the record on a 4-yard pitch play around the left side and never looked back. It means a lot, Taylor said. Going out, watching AP, one of my favorite running backs, to be mentioned with him amongst the top freshman rushers, it's surreal. I just took a picture and thanked my boys on the offensive line. I've got to take them out. We had one heck of a season. I'm very grateful for them. Taylor finished with 1,977 yards, the fourth-best single-season total in Wisconsin history. He recorded the 10th 100-yard rushing game of his rookie season. Only Melvin Gordon, 12 in 2014, had more in a season for the Badgers. That season, Gordon finished second in the Heisman Trophy voting. Taylor wasn't a Heisman finalist as a freshman, although he did finish sixth in the voting. It was a remarkable rise this season for Taylor, who began fall camp as the fourth, or fifth string running back. During a scrimmage two weeks before the season opener against Utah State, Taylor scored two eye-opening touchdowns, including one against the No. 1 defense Badgers running backs coach John Settle knew Taylor was someone capable of contributing at that point. But no one could have foreseen Taylor's ascension. He earned the starting job in Week 2, rushed for 223 yards with three touchdowns against Florida Atlantic and held on to the starting role the rest of the way. Taylor had games with 249 rushing yards against Nebraska, 219 yards against Purdue and 183 yards against Indiana. And each week, he gained traction as a viable Heisman candidate during his freshman season. When he begins next season as a sophomore, there will be no sneaking up on opponents. People probably know what's coming when they're playing JT, Badgers quarterback Alex Hornibrook said. He made his name well known this year. Taylor's biggest bugaboo is his inability to hold on to the football. He lost his sixth fumble of the season early in the first quarter Saturday night, after he gained 14 yards down to the Miami 33. Taylor stayed in the game on Wisconsin's next offensive possession and his 39 yards on four carries to help set up a field goal to give the Badgers a 3-0 lead. I think next season will start with the Heisman hype, and they should, Badgers left tackle Michael Deiter said.